Why did Jesus come? It's important to note that God sent Jesus to the world to open a new chapter to humanity as a whole. And we're going to be looking very quickly into God's word to address from the word of God the actual purpose. What did Jesus' arrival accomplish? What did he come to do on the earth? Number one is to bring salvation to mankind. To bring salvation to mankind. John chapter 3 and verse 16. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God so loved that he gave. What was the reason for which he gave? He said that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. So he gave Jesus for our salvation. In the book of Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3, the Bible says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? So Jesus came so that you and I can be saved. Saved from what? The fundamental thing he came to save us from was to save us from our sin. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. The Bible tells us there, it says, And he shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Why? Because he shall save his people from their sins. No effort can save man from sin. No strategy can save man from sin. No capacity can save man from sin. Only Jesus can save man from sin. It's important to note that before the arrival of Christ, sin had dominion over man. But glory, hallelujah, when Jesus came, he came to break the dominion of sin over us. Romans chapter 6 and verse 14. The Bible tells us there, it says, for sin shall not have dominion over you. So the dominion of sin was destroyed by Christ. So through Jesus, you and I can have victory over sin. We had the testimony today of one of us that was read to us in this service. That person was struggling with masturbation. He said it started as an experiment. It graduated into an habit until it became an addiction. I tried everything but nothing worked until she came into the presence of God and began to cry in repentance before God and Jesus broke the power of sin. I don't know what may have been holding you captive beyond your will, but today, as we are celebrating the gift of Christ, I see the power and dominion of sin being broken in our lives. Yeah. If you believe it, say the loudest, amen. Yeah. I said, if you believe it, say the loudest, amen. Yeah. So the dominion of sin is broken by Christ. I can't forget the testimony of a particular man years ago in our church in the UK. This man was a chronic alcohol alcoholic. He was a chronic alcoholic. His alcoholism was so bad that medically was told that he has gone to a point that he, if he stops drinking, he will die from withdrawal syndrome. So even when he is sick, they have to give him alcohol to balance his body. He was, there was no way out. Everything was so terrible. His withdrawal syndrome, those of us who have any idea about those who are addicted to drugs and so forth, there's what you call withdrawal syndrome. And the withdrawal syndrome was so bad that his body will react very, very violently to the point that he will get towards death. So they said this alcoholism cannot be cured. He will live an alcoholic till life, for, till death. But then Jesus came into his life. And this man, the yoke of alcoholism was broken in a sweep, not gradually, but suddenly. The arrival of Christ broke the dominion of sin. Whatever represents the dominion of sin in anyone's life, today, by the power of Jesus, that dominion is broken forever. If you believe it, say the loudest, amen. I said that dominion is broken forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. I also like you to know that there is no breakthrough without an action. In fact, there is no product 
without a process so we admonish you put those things to work and breakthrough will be evident in your life and in case you have engaged some of the insights shared here on this platform and you have received breakthrough please kindly share with us so that others can also benefit from it if you enjoyed this episode kindly hit on the subscription button below if you haven't done so and the notification bell and you shall be notified when a new video is uploaded you can like and share with friends and loved ones you can as well leave us a comment and we will be glad to continue the discussion on the comment section until we meet again keep watching our videos and stay tuned for the next video god bless you Thank you.